welcome to the Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals and welcome back to the Den of Tools and we've got yet another comprehensive tool review. We're doing Torx aka Star Bits, T45s in this case. Let me see if I can run them down, if I can remember them. We got from the tool trucks, Snap-on, Mac, Macco, from the tool truck alternatives, SK, Weha, GearWrench, Tecton, Ingersoll, Rand, Capri, and Icon. From the DIYers, we got Craftsman, Cobalt, Husky, and Crescent. And from the budget land, you know, we got the WorkPro and Duralast from AutoZone. I'm sure you've all probably seen a meme like this, questioning whether it's worth it to spend more for a better bit driver. So we've decided to answer that question once and for all. Today, we're going to be going through, putting it through its pace, paces, measuring it, testing it, and whatnot to see if it can hold up to what it's designed to do. Tomorrow, the torture testing. Anyway, that's it right now. Let's jump into some of the specs here. So, Mac, Snap-on, and SK, all perfectly square, Crescent, Husky, Craftsman, and Duralast. And they all have a pin detent, and they're all identical. In fact, my guess is these are all out of the same factory. This one just has a black oxide finish, and I'm guessing Apex for all of those. All the rest have rounded corners, Ingersoll ran and gear wrench are the only ones that have any knurling on them. Tech and Ingersoll ran are both the only two in the group and security holes. So I did break out the old digital yardstick here and I put all of them through its paces. And I got to be honest, they all fell within, uh, you know, uh, ISO spec and ANSI specs. So there really isn't much of a difference. The only real difference is that some of them seemed a little bit longer than others. We really had three, maybe four height segments here. So let me show you a comparison and then I'm gonna show you just right up the, the tallest to the shortest. And you can see they're, they're within spitting distance. And here we are lined up low to high. As you see, not much of a difference. Let me grab the shortest, put it next to the tallest, which happened to be icon for some reason. It's a little bit, okay, it's significantly taller, but it's not a like knock it out of the ballpark kind of thing. All right, now how do we test these? Well, the first thing we did was we got some new hardware, a ton of it, all brand new. We're cutting it down to size to fit in the socket. You're going to see here in a little bit. Every test got a new bolt in it. So there's no way that any of this could be, you know, infringed by the other one. Hey, this got a little bit more in tear on it. Every, every test, every time we put pressure, we got a new one. We also used the uh, the brand new Ingersoll Rand because, well, it's got the comfort fit on it. It was a lot of fun to use. We got it, uh, we're taking it down, size down to the 3 8 because that's, of course, a half inch. We got two bolts on each one, and we've got an Icon 3 8 socket, deep well socket here. And, of course, we've got this on the, the same measuring bed we've used for all the other tests here with the, the Quinn torque meter here. And uh, let's jump into it and see how these things do. First step, let's just see if they fit. Duralast. Decent fit, not much wiggle. We have. Mac. This is pretty good. Craftsman. SK. Snap-on. Tecton. That's pretty tight, look at that. Gear wrench. Husky. Yep. Cobalt. Work Pro. Yep, it says Icon, Capri, Ingersoll Rand, and Crescent. About the same. To this one again. Yeah, that's significantly tighter. This one's tighter than the rest. This one, 
protecting is definitely the the snuggest. Good fit. Okay, this was the first one going a little slower with it, but here you can see takes the head right off the bolt. Tucked in. Mac. Husky. Icon. Capri. Work Pro. Cobalt. Snap on. We have. SK Craftsman And Duralast.
Okay, uh, quick little uh, admission here. So for some reason, the crescent uh, socket or driver didn't show up in the wiggle test, and the Matco didn't show up in either of them. There must have been an issue with the recording. I apologize. But at the end of the day, what I can tell you is that the performance was no different than anybody else. These all performed almost identical. I couldn't really, if I was blindfolded, I could not tell one from the other. So you have to stay tuned till tomorrow when we put it to some destructive testing. Yeah, we're going to throw it on the Bauer, see if it can handle that. We're going to throw it on the uh, the earthquake, the, the big 20-volt earthquake. That thing's got a ton of power. And if it survives that, then we're going to throw it on a breaker bar. Not sure if we'll even get that far. Let's see what kind of damage we can do to those. In the meantime, I want to say thank you very much for coming by and checking out the video. Also, don't forget, we're still offering the uh, the growler masks. For those of you who have to wear masks to work or to get food or whatever, not trying to get into the politics, but some people have to wear masks just to earn a living. And if you do, might as well have some fun with it. Show them your inner tool bear. Anyway, as I said, some of these were sponsored. Well, at least not sponsored. They didn't pay me, but they did send me them free for testing. So let's see, what did you think? What you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you're so biased to this. Doesn't matter what I do. I've been accused of being biased to pretty much every brand out there. So what do you have on your score pad? Here you go. You can see who it was and who sent me what. And first up, we have the 52 piece SAE and metric master bit socket set from Ingersoll Rand. As you know, earlier this year, they just blew onto the hand tool scene here jumping in with the rest of the tool truck alternatives. Uh, as far as I know, these are all, all their tools are made in Taiwan. Uh, I haven't seen anything other than that. Correct me if I'm wrong in that, but this set is, it's a great set. It's not an inexpensive set. Again, these are, they're targeting the, the professional in the shop and the high-end prosumer with this. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. It's a fabulous set that they send. Of course, they do have the, uh, the security or the uh, sometimes called tamper-proof sockets there. And uh, it comes in a great case. It's a blow-molded case, but it's one of the better ones. There's not a lot of wasted space in it. It's nice and sturdy, holds the sockets in place. Anyway, as I said, uh, you can go over to their website and check it out. I'm going to have links to everything I could find uh, down below. The stuff I bought local, I'll see if I can find a link for it. But the uh, anything I bought online, I will definitely have a link for down below. Next item comes from the opposite end of the spectrum. We've got WorkPro. You know, I've been talking to these folks. They seem like great people to come out with all sorts of great new products. Perfect for the DIY or the home user, the weekend warrior type. Honestly, though, the, the, the condition with these, I don't know, maybe you could use them in a shop. What do you think? Uh, they've held up so far doing the job that they're supposed to do. Now, whether they can handle the abuse tomorrow, we'll see. But this is a 13-piece Torx T8 to T60 with S2 steel. Now it's ready for hand use only. <laughs> we'll see how it handles it tomorrow, huh? And next we got Tecton. Big thanks to them for sending me their three inch drive Torx and tamper resistant Torx bit socket set, 36 piece. We got T10, T60, or I should say T10 through T60, TR10 through TR60. And uh, again, it comes, you know, Tecton's been really known for doing these really great low molded cases. Uh, they're really well made. They have a great fit, and they all usually have these little extra compartments there for as you're working on stuff, for bits and whatnot, you have some place to put them. Uh, it's not the cheapest, not the most expensive, and that's what Tecton's really doing, is they're coming out, putting out great products at reasonable prices. I know they're trying to do more and more stuff that's made in the U.S. When it's not made in the U.S., it's usually made in Taiwan. Every so often you'll find something made from China, but they're trying to move away from it. I got more news from them coming down the pipe next week. And next up, we got a newcomer on the block, and that is Capri Tools. They sent me three of their Star Torx bit external drivers here. And, you know, this is a company that's really making a name for themselves. They are, again, in that tool truck alternative space. They have some great priced stuff. You know, one of their sets here, I'm looking at it now, they have their 35-piece uh, the CP3004, three, th sorry, 30004, uh, Star Torx and, and driver set there. Uh, it's 35 piece again, $27.98. That's a great price. Comes in a great little case. Anyway, be sure to check them out. Let me know what you think. Do you want to see more Capri stuff featured on the channel? I gotta say it looks nice, performed, you know, as expected, if not better. 
So let's see how they handle it tomorrow. Anyway, that's it for the sponsored ones. We have, as I said, four of them, Tekton, Ingersoll Rand, WorkPro, and Capri. As you can see here, here's our setup for tomorrow. We are going to put the hurt on these sockets and see if they can take the heat. Uh, we're going to start off with the Bauer work up to the Earthquake, which has got a ton of power. And if that can't do it, we'll break out the breaker bar and have some fun. Anyway, thanks for joining us today. Uh, come back tomorrow for the, uh, the final episode here. Till then, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.